My name's Penny Conover, and I am department head for the Fulton County Mighty Mutts Dog Club. And we have an organization that is 50 kids this year, and we have about 60 dogs. We start in February at the end of it with the dog fair where the kids come and they learn about the dog project. And then two weeks after that, we start on Tuesday nights and we practice every week um, until the fair. And we practice agility, we practice showmanship, we practice obedience, we practice rally. This year we've also added a canine good citizen uh, where the kids can get a certificate on their dog at the end of this. And after the fair's over, then we have usually about Oh, 13, 14, 15 kids that go to the Indiana State Fair, and we practice another four or five weeks until we go down to the State Fair. And to honestly uh, be truthful with you, that's my favorite time of the year is when we go down to the State Fair, when I get to see a lot of my friends and uh, people from other counties there that um, I've learned things from. Basic obedience involves uh, healing on a loose leash. It involves a stand for examination and where they would leave their dog in a stand and um, the judge or a person that they don't know, a stranger, would come up and run their hand down the dog's back and then they would return to the dog. Uh, another exercise that we do is a figure eight which we have two people that are post and the dog has to do a figure eight around the post and it's to simulate walking in a crowd and your dog needs to have uh, manners to do this and they need to change their gait to um, your gait. Uh, we also do a recall which the dog sits and then the handler would be away um, usually at least six foot to start out with on leash and then second year it would be off leash and third year it would be further away off leash and in upper divisions it would be with the handlers out of sight and the dogs have to stay for three to five minutes there. Um, the, we do finishes at the end of our recalls uh, where the dogs have to go back to healing position. Agility, um, it is based on accuracy first and then on time. And um, I don't train the agility, my co leader Leanne does. And uh, to start out with, they do um, the A frame where the dogs walk up the A frame and down the A frame. And they do a dog walk, which they go up, walk a walk that's about four, three, four foot high and go down the other side. Uh, they have to do a table, a pause table where they jump on the table and they either have to sit or lay down for five seconds. They do numerous jumps. Um, so they're always jumping. First year jumps lower, second year jumps higher. Mm, weave poles are advanced. Tunnels, they also do a, a collapsed tunnel. The teeter-totter, um, they have to 
uh, go up the one side, they stop in the middle, and then it goes back down the other side, and they have to walk down the other side um, until it hits the ground, and they have to come off of the end of it. They can't jump off of the side of it. And um, that takes quite a bit of training because your dog's sort of unsure when they're standing on something that's moving. So it's a lot of repetition. Uh, but it looks really nice when they get it. It's, it's really pretty. We do this, these classes through 4-H, and the time to enroll in 4-H is November 15th through January 15th. And it's third grade through 12th grade. Dogs have to be six months old by April 15th. And they would just call the extension office um, to get the information about how to get online and enter. Now's a really good time to be thinking about it for the following year. If you have a, a puppy, they would be plenty old enough for next year then. We have a big show coming up on June 20th, that's a Saturday, here at the Fulton County Fairgrounds. We put on obedience, agility, showmanship, rally, and we start at 8.30 in the morning, and we're here until about 3, about, oh, about 3-ish, I guess. And then if you want to see us at the State Fair, it is August 22nd to the 23rd, and we're in the cattle barn down there.